Former Good Morning Britain presenter Piers Morgan has savagely branded Prince Harry a shameless, deluded, woefully entitled hypocrite in his latest column for The Sun. The journalist, who left his GMB presenting job in 2020 after being called out for criticisms he made against Meghan Markle, appears to be angered over Prince Harry's request for police protection for his family when they visit the UK. Piers, 56, is an outspoken critic of Prince Harry and his wife Meghan, whom he once accused of lying about having suicidal thoughts after the actress appeared in a tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey in March 2021. Now, Piers has claimed that the Queen's grandson has piped up from his Californian mansion at the time where she needs it the least. Piers suggested that Harry was making everything more difficult for his grandmother during the most difficult times of her life. Piers began by saying that he took issue with Prince Harry and Meghan's television appearances at a time when Prince Philip was dying in hospital. He went on to explain that, in the light of Prince Andrew's current sexual abuse allegations which the Duke of York has denied, Harry was once rubbing salt in the Queen's emotional wounds. Harry's threat of legal action after not being granted British police protection while in the UK, Piers argues, is causing his grandmother undue distress during another difficult time. Piers said, the petulant prince is threatening legal action, is there ever a time when he isn't? Unless the Home Office caves and restores the royal security he enjoyed before his dramatic flounce to America. If he goes through with his threat, it will be the first time any royal has ever sued Her Majesty's government, and, of course, causes the Queen yet another massive headache at the worst possible time. Harry's legal representative sent in a statement outlining his reasoning, part of which Piers included in his article. The selected paragraphs read, The UK will always be Prince Harry's home and a country he wants his wife and children to be safe in. With the lack of police protection, comes too great a personal risk. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex personally fund a private security team for their family, yet that security cannot replicate the necessary police protection needed whilst in the UK. In the absence of such protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to return to his home. At this, Piers scoffed, what a load of disingenuous, self-serving, elitist poppycock. It takes a rare kind of brass neck to want the right to trash the royal family whenever it suits you but also insist on enjoying the trappings of being a member of that family without performing any of the, often mundane, duties that come with those trappings. Piers went on to blast Harry for his hypocritical behavior, including examples such as preaching about the environment whilst using private jets and bleating about privacy while giving the public insight into his family's private life. The journalist concluded that Harry and Meghan were not entitled to police protection while they are in the UK on the basis that they are runaways who deserted their duty. Piers did make reference to the fact that Harry had offered to pay for the security himself, but said that he should get his own personal security team and request police help with any specific incident or threat like everyone else. In addition to their comments above, Prince Harry's legal representative also explained that he inherited a security risk at birth, for life. In a statement, they said, he remains sixth in line to the throne, served two tours of combat duty in Afghanistan, and in recent years his family has been subjected to well-documented neo-Nazi and extremist threats. While his role within the institution has changed, his profile as a member of the royal family has not. Nor has the threat to him and his family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex personally fund a private security team for their family, yet that security cannot replicate the necessary police protection needed whilst in the UK. 
in the absence of such protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to return to his home. The Duke first offered to pay personally for UK police protection for himself and his family in January of 2020 at Sandringham. That offer was dismissed. He remains willing to cover the cost of security, as not to impose on the British taxpayer. As is widely known, others who have left public office and have an inherent threat risk receive police protection at no cost to them. The goal for Prince Harry has been simple, to ensure the safety of himself and his family while in the UK so his children can know his home country. During his last visit to the UK in July, to unveil a statue in honour of his late mother, his security was compromised due to the absence of police protection, whilst leaving a charity event. After another attempt at negotiations was also rejected, he sought a judicial review in September 2021 to challenge the decision-making behind the security procedures, in the hopes that this could be re-evaluated for the obvious and necessary protection required.